Hello, hi, I'm Punita here from Huawei Global Training Center and today we're going to discuss about the content troubleshooting synchronization faults. This is part 8. So let's look into the background information. Clock synchronization. Two or more signals keep specific relation on frequency of phase. So in other words, the phase of frequency difference of two or more signals will keep in conventional permissive range at at corresponding effective instance. So basically, this is related on why clock has to be synchronized because we want to avoid delay and latency at the packet level. So base stations in FTD mode must achieve frequency synchronization and on, on the other hand, uh, base stations in TDD must achieve time synchronization. And some FTD features require time synchronization like EI, CIC. This is for interference feature. This is an interference feature to improve the interference. So we have frequency synchronization and time phase synchronization. So let's look into the clock lock status. So we have several clock lock status. Start up. So we start from free running, holdover, locked and fast tracking. What is the meaning of free running? So free running mode means there is no available reference clock. So this could be having some difficulty to access to the network after certain hours. Fast tracking mode means reference clock becomes available, but the phase offset overtop the threshold. Locked mode, on the other hand, meaning that E node B obtains the reference clock and the frequency offset is less than lock threshold. So this is the best, best activated mode for the clock system, clock lock system. The last part will be holdover mode. When reference clock becomes unavailable, or phase offset or frequency offset overtop the lock threshold. But holdover mode is temporarily maintained only for a few hours. After that, it will become service impacting already. Either most most of the problem it could be access issue to the network. So let's look into the synchronization form. So for this case, it can be related to GPS or RGPS clock system. NTP server, IP clock server, IEEE. So we have the main clock server towards the E node B client. So what is the classification of synchronization fault here? It could be related to the packet transmission network. It can cause delay, can cause packet loss, can cause latency issues. So it can cause, it can be related to clock reference problem, IP clock link fault, system clock unlocked fault, or time synchronization failures. So these are the main synchronization fault. So let's look into the possible causes. Maybe in this case the clock mode is incorrectly set. So this is related to the configuration. Clock source is incorrectly added. The clock working mode is incorrectly set for the inode B. All these are related to configuration issue. The external reference clock is abnormal. For example, there is an excessive frequency deviation or the clock source is incorrectly selected which leads to a clock lock failure. So these are the possible causes. So let's check the details for this fault. So first of all, step one, we check the clock status by running display clock status. So basically, it will tell you what are the clock system that you have configured and you are using in this system. So let's try to look into this example, display clock status. Display clock status. So basically, we have to fill up some information. So slot number 7, referring to the UMPT card. So over here, we have the details of the clock status. So the clock status is free running. That means there is no reference clock available. And it is frequency mode because this is related to the FTD base station. So next, we modify the clock configuration for the E node B. So if the clock source is different from the plan, the correct source, you have to correct the source and delete the incorrect one. For example, example you are using IP clock server, but you have configured GPS clock system. So if the clock configuration mode is different plan, modify by set clock sync mode. So when you set the clock sync mode, you can choose whether this is frequency or time. So frequency is related to FTD network and time is for TDD network. And if the 
in node b needs to lock an external clock source set the clock working mode to auto and manual if you need to lock it you have to set it as auto and manual so let's look into these details from the lab command so we're going to try to list the clock sync mode so when you because we want to view back what we have configured for this network. So when you view back, the clock synchronization mode is frequency. So when you set it, it's, it will have two options. So when you set it, it will have two options, frequency, time or hybrid. Next, we're going to look into the clock working mode. So when you list the clock working mode, this one is free running. Free running means you are not locking the clock system. It is free. So if you want to lock it, you have to set clock mode. So when you set the clock mode, it has few options, auto, manual and free. If you want to lock it, it has to be auto or manual. So next status, check whether the external clock resources of the inode B is properly configured by display the clock source. So basically, it has to have a license also. Like this example, they have two clock system. Both are unavailable and only one has the license, which is IP clock. So in this case, you only can activate IP clock server. And we can also check the license authorized. Display the license and see whether you have enhanced synchronization control item that indicates that it has been activated. And the function is enabled. If not, you need to apply for the license for this function. And clock source data should be available. In this case, it shows unavailable. So let's look into our example. So we're going to try to look into the display clock source. So there is no clock source available here because it's free running. So there is no reference clock configured for this network yet. So let's switch to another side. We can check the similar status. So same thing for this particular site, there is no clock source configured. So there is no external clock source for this base station. So next step, if you are using a particular type of external clock, example, IP clock is used, the clock source state must be unavailable. It is If, I, if it's an unavailable, you must check the clock server. This indicates there's something wrong. So ping the IP clock at the inode B and list the IP clock to get the IP clock server IP address. So log in to the IP clock server and check on the connectivity of the e -node B. So this is the information. This is only when you are using IP clock server as an external clock. So these are the commands available. So let's look into the command. So when I list my IP clock link, and if there is some configuration available, that means you are using IP clock server. In my case, this particular command is not execu is executed, but there is no details. That means there is no configuration on IP clock server. Q&A session, available reference clock refers to free running mode. Yes or no? No. The second question, if the e-node B needs to lock an external clock source, set the clock working mode to auto or manual, yes or no? The answer is yes. So the summary of this part, troubleshooting synchronization fault. We have learned about background information, synchronization fault and troubleshooting synchronization fault. That's all from me. Hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Bye.